Hi everyone, welcome back. This is part seven of my cargo trailer to camper conversion. So if you enjoy the videos or if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. Uh, in this video, we're gonna cover building cabinets. So again, I'm no professional, but I've done it before and this worked before and I think it'll work this time. Anyways, follow along, I'll show you what I did and maybe you can learn something or maybe you can uh, take something away from it. Okay, so again, this is gonna be a bench here, bench here with a table in the middle that's gonna fold down as a bed. So for the bench over here, I haven't done this bench yet because I gotta do all my electrical and I don't wanna build the bench around it until my electrical's done. So still to do on this bench, I got a piano hinge to go along here. This part's gonna be screwed down. This part will lift up. I'll just drill a couple holes in here that you can stick your finger in to lift it up. But that's my water tank under there heater that's what that hole is over there it'll be my vent for my heater so my upper cabinets it's my little sink or my little stove it's got one of these little flip up burner covers birch plywood countertop it's my uh, on-demand hot water tank in here it's my shower right now so that's still, still it needs to be a little bit of finishing. I'm gonna take, I've got some plastic uh, two, by, two by sixes that I'm gonna router out and put around here. Here's my sink, still need my doors on. This still needs to be attached, but just gives you an idea of what I'm doing here. So that gives my framing around there, little sink, little shelf I still gotta put up top here. And then I've got this little cabinet here on this side. Again, I'm just going to put doors. They're just going to flip up. Just exposed hinges. So that's it. Let's get started. I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so step one for me is I've got my laser level out here. I've set it uh, compared to the back here. Like this spot and down here where the light is, is nice and straight. Comes straight out this way. And then we got to line up the wall. So I'll mark that on the wall where that uh, where this panel's going. I'll mark it on the floor and then also up on the ceiling. So we'll make sure it's nice and straight. Then what I was gonna do is I was gonna attach up here. I was gonna attach some little aluminum L brackets in here, and then down here there's nothing really to attach to. So what I'll do is I'll run uh, a piece of um, two, uh, one by three across here to, to pick that up. And then again, I'll attach it, screw it into the floor down there. So what I, I'll do is do pocket, pocket holes in the, the panel like this, and I'll screw it right down into the floor when it's right on that line. Up top, same thing right about here. I'll put one of those little L brackets and then we'll attach it to the side of that L bracket. To get the contour right, I cut out a piece of cardboard here. So here's my cardboard, this is the same, that's 24 inches. And I'll just use this and I'll mark out it out as a template so that I can, um, uh, I won't have to cut my plywood twice or three times, I'll, I'll get it right the first time. Once I get that marked out, I can just transfer it onto the plywood and then we'll get it put up in there. So let's get started. So this is how I do my angles with the panels. I just take a piece of cardboard and then I, I kind of just slowly carve it away until I can get the right angle, especially when you get into the corners and stuff and the, the angle of the, the, the roof, the roof line, the back, the wall line. Anyway, so that now I'll just take that and I'll transfer it onto the panel that I'm cutting and cut it out. So I take that pattern I've got, I measure up from the bottom so that I know that my piece of uh, cardboard here square onto my plywood and then I trace the pattern and then I'll cut that out with a jigsaw.
So just a little bit about how I'm building my cabinets. This is how I've decided to do it. So I'm trying to make them as light as possible so I'm not building boxes and then putting the boxes in here. I'm trying to build it kind of in place. So what I do is I just use the side uh, is just plywood. So this is just half inch plywood everywhere. And then inside I've got these uh, one by one by two strips of wood and I use that to like screw the thing to the floor and then to screw the corners together here it just goes together like that and then you just screw that that one by two together across the top of the bed here like where the bench is gonna be I'm gonna put these strips here so I'll put some strips along here just like that and then that the plywood on top here will lay over top of that and then this will be able to lift up the plywood will be able to lift up and uh, like I'll, I'll cut a put a piano hinge on here and then just have it so it lifts up to access the tank and the shutoff valve and everything but I think this makes it fairly light um, it would be even lighter if I used just like 1 8 but I just wanted the strength of making it a little bit stronger so that's just kind of what I do here just the one by twos and then screw it all together makes it pretty strong same with here like where my sinks gonna be going it's just this is a, a one by three for the front and then what I'll do is I'll put a facing on here, across here, and then that's what I'll be attaching my doors to. But basically it's just open inside. There's not, I'm not putting boxes in here. And then I'll put sh a shelf in there, obviously, countertop. Yeah. So that's what I got so far. Okay, so we got our cabinets built here. I have my fridge installed now. It's in there super solid. And, um, Got my gas line for my cooktop that's going in here. My hot water tank in there. I built this little thing here just to allow some air coming out and air going in down there. I've got some little vents here. Just soffit vents that are going to go in there. Two inch soffit vents. Um, I'm just moving on to the uh, countertop now. I'm just using this three quarter birch for the countertop. So what I do with that is I lay the piece in there, I cut it bigger than what you need. Slide it in as much as you can and then scribe around it because you'll find that your walls are a little warped or your sides are a little bit off. But this will, if you make it a little bigger than you need, scribe it. And then at the end here, I just mark underneath here. I want to have a little bit of an overhang. And then that's it, that's my countertop. It looks like it's sticking out a little bit far here but I have a piece of uh, three quarter inch board that's gonna fit in there. And that'll give me just an inch overhang here. And then same in here, I've got some trim to go around this uh, fridge. So now for the stove, uh, it's one of these little two burners off of Amazon. Anyways, I cut out a piece of cardboard that's the size of the, um, the stove and I laid it on here, centered it where I wanted it and then I brought it forward enough you got to bring them forward fairly far because uh, this cover here, the cover that goes over top of the stove it needs to be able to flip up and lay back. If you have it too far back that cover will be like on an angle and then you've cut your countertop and you've... Any, anyway so if you push it, keep it far forward as you can then that cover will lay back nice so I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to build another countertop for over here, shelf for down here, and then some framing. Here's our sink uh, countertop done now, sinks installed. One thing I like to do with uh, these taps, the cutout that they send you is always bigger, like it comes way out to here. But I like to, to leave this much of the wood still in behind here and then this has a much stronger surface to hold to so for your taps are going right through the wood they're not just on this thin metal so I put the trim around it now you'll kind of see this is kind of how the trim goes that's what I do just a two by uh, 
one by three here at the top, one by three at the bottom. There's pocket holes in the back. And then I'll just attach my hinges to this. They'll just be exposed hinges and then have my door on there. So now I'm gonna start on the upper cabinets. I've got my pieces cut here for the upper cabinets. And so what I'm doing is this is the base. This is the very bottom. I've attached an aluminum angle iron up there. And you can kind of see there's an end piece there. So that's how it works. So the plywood just slides right in here, gets attached to this, and then I've got another, another center piece here. That'll go right in, in there. I've got the angle brackets already on there, angle iron brackets. Let's put it together. I'll show you how I do it. So here's our upper cabinets uh, done. You can see I just used that uh, one by two up top, one by three, one by three in between the two, and then I just used uh, bits of one by two to, to hold it on here, screwed it in from behind, and then in the middle of the shelf here I put this another one by two and I just attached the screws underneath so that it'll hold it up. This gives it a little bit of like a light balance effect here because I'm going to put a light in here and it'll just help to hide it. Now for my doors I'm just going to use like this is just a scrap piece of half inch plywood but you get the idea. Let's put them on there like that kind of thing. Exposed hinges at the top. They'll just flip up and then they'll they'll have a magnet at the bottom. So now I'm going to move on and, and do the bench.